Now on pie, time for mushrooms. The Northwest is home to a huge variety of mushrooms. So of course, foraging is a very popular hobby. I know people will go morel hunting every year, but you need to know what you're doing. Some kinds of mushrooms are poisonous. Well, we have the Puget Sound Mycological Society with us. They're a group dedicated to research and education, and yes, the foraging and cooking of wild mushrooms. Joining me now, Danny Miller. Hey, Danny. Hi. So uh, we're getting close to a mushroom season of a kind in the Northwest. Yes. What's going on? The spring morel season. Yes. Uh, morels are the most popular edible in the spring, and uh, it's coming up within the next month, so a lot of people are getting pretty excited about that. And Especially, this is a treasure. It is a, yeah, you yeah. go hunting. Yes, it's called mushroom hunting for a reason, because yeah. nobody really understands how you can most reliably find them or where they are, and uh, places that you know give good mushrooms are closely guarded secrets to families. I know people that won't let their children tell anyone where their where their secret patches are until they're actually engaged to a person. Yep. <laughs> Dating does not count. <laughs> After you're married, then you can tell them. Now your family. Yes. You yeah. Now talk. your family. Exactly. Uh, I, I think of uh, mushrooms as sprouting around um, dead trees, like tree trunks. Uh, but you were telling me that that burned trees are rich mushroom source. Yeah, uh, they'll actually grow anywhere, but when they decide to fruit to produce the mushroom, which is what you want to find to be able to eat it, uh, morels in particular like recently burned places. So the fact that there were so many forest fires this past year have a lot of people excited that this might be one of the best mushroom seasons for morels coming up. Now let's talk poison, because yeah. when I was a kid, I think I must have thought that Snakes and poisonous yeah. mushrooms were like the top two killers in yeah. the country. You know, we just have this idea. How dangerous yeah. is it? Do people die from going it, mushroom hunting when they don't know what they're doing? It's not as dangerous as people think. You could die by eating the right, the wrong mushroom. So you definitely should never eat anything unless you've had somebody that you know and trust be able to positively identify it for you. Because there are more than a thousand different kinds of mushrooms that grow right around here uh, very commonly. And of that, it's really only one species that has caused 80% of the serious poisonings and deaths along the West Coast. Mushroom Mania Day. This is like, a, this is a big May time yes. fungal celebration. What goes on? Yes, well, you can come and learn uh, fun facts about this and everything else. We have exhibits about all different roles that mushrooms play in the ecosystem and all the important things that they're doing that people might not realize, as well as real mushrooms hands-on, some microscopes set up where you can see what they look like under, you know, on the little slides, and there's a whole bunch of activities, uh, um, some specifically for kids, some for adults, so it's a, it's a great day for the whole family. Mushroom hunting, mushroom mania day. By the way, that's not, uh, it's, it's mania as in M-A-Y, because yes. it's the month of May. Uh, happens every year, Saturday, May 11th at uh, the Burke Museum uh, of Natural History and Culture. It's at the UW campus. And for information, you go to burkemuseum.org. And for great info on mushrooms, by the way, the Mycological Society's website yes. is? PSMS.org. As in Puget Sound Mycological yeah. Society, PSMS.org. Mushroom hunting, if you haven't tried it, I mean, I know, it's a competitive, <laughs> mysterious, there's an art to it. It is. Yeah, fascinating. Danny, thanks. Thank you.